Well, today we're going to be making some adjustments on this logo light that I put in. A couple weeks ago I posted a video and boy did I get a lot of good responses on that and some good suggestions actually. And there were some other people that said I should do RGB light in there. And we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, black this out a little bit so that we just have more of the outward glow so this won't be so translucent. That might be a, a, a good thing to do here is to black that out. I think that might look uh, even cooler. So that's what we're gonna do, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so been thinking about how we're gonna do this. The problem is, is all these Apple logos on these different machines, they're not really a standard size. A lot of them are all different sizes. And a good example of that is this came off of a power book and it's clear and it's frosted on the other side. There's usually a white diffuser on the back and that's what makes it look nice and bright and white. So I got to comparing sizes with this and you can see that one there, it's a little small. So what I did is I took and have this metallic Apple logo and it's just slightly smaller and so I made some copies of it. I played around with the size of it and I went up 10% bigger, 9, 8, 7% bigger and still really couldn't get the size that I wanted. So then I got the broad idea, I put some paper over here I took a leaded pencil and just try you know it's an old trick or if you want to lift off an image off of a, a old tombstone or something like that the the name or something or off of a feature of off of a stone or something you can just go on the side of it and do that with the paper and I did that and it came out pretty good but again the size is still off a little bit and that's because of the relief because this is beveled because this if you pull that logo out this is recessed in here so that's what this fits into there's adhesive on the back side of this and that's what holds it in now I thought to myself well maybe I can loosen this adhesive up because it looks like it's just double-sided tape and generally when you heat it up it will relax the glue and you can peel it off of there and no it, it's on there it ain't gonna come off I tried it for a couple hours trying to get it off of there and I didn't make any uh, progress. So what I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this metal logo. It's just a little bit smaller and that's fine because that way it's still going to glow on the outer edges of it. Now the problem I have is this has adhesive on it, this, whole, this backing, so if you peel this off that's clear so it all exposes is just the uh, the mylar logo so that makes the sticky side on the wrong side and obviously you can't reverse it because that's not going to work either so what i'm going to do is i'm going to peel that off stick that down on something um, it'll be a pretty elegant solution and like i said it's not quite it's not quite the, the perfect side but it's fine it's just a little bit smaller but the shapes okay and of course we'll cut that leaf off because we'll apply that separately on there and I think that'll be just fine and you won't see this white background it'll all be black but again you're not gonna see it because uh, once I put that tape on there I'm gonna trim this out again and and, and uh, it ought to look pretty good I got the uh, metal sleeve out of the inside of the plastic acrylic housing here so anyway they can see the back of the logo right there and so what we're going to do i'll hold this up here so you can see it a little bit better there uh, right there okay so my plan is to put this behind there like that uh, we'll get it all centered up like I said, I, I thought about airbrushing it, but it's just, 
Um, uh, is this going to be too much taping involved and I get a little bit of a parallax? You're thinking you're right on the mark and really you're off. So we're just going to do it this way here. And this this will block it all out. I'm not worried about it. So that'll be good. So that's what we're going to do. All right, that worked pretty good there. So that's stuck down on that uh, blue tape there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it and just trim it all out. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tack it up with the spray mount and then actually apply it. Okay, so we got that all cut out there. So the silver side will be behind the logo. And that's what's going to have the spray mount on it. And then this will actually be facing the light. And I think this tape is a little better choice. It was a little easier to cut. So, so now I'm going to cut out the little leaf. And then we'll be ready to uh, get the spray mount adhesive. And prep these and put them in place. Okay, so we got this back side of the logo all put in there. And you can see it here. Right there. It's all nice and glued down. Now the nice thing about this particular type of glue, it's a spray mount glue. You can use it for fabric and anything, plastic, wood, metal. But if you ever were to take that off, uh, that adhesive totally is removable by alcohol. And so it won't damage the plastic. That's the beauty of this. Okay, so we got all the uh, metal housing back inside of it here. And the vent back in it. And everything's all buttoned up. So now we're ready to uh, put it back together. And we'll light it up and see how it looks. Okay, let's see how this is going to look. Oh, there we go. A nice glow around it there. And it looks pretty good there. I thought it would be a little bit brighter than that, the outward glow on it. But as far as the blocking out, that works perfectly. No bleed through. That looks excellent. So we covered the back side of this logo. So we just have the glow around it. Now it's not as bright um, because a lot of it bled through and then it kind of goes through the acrylic case. So as far as the block out, that's 100%. There's no light getting through that whatsoever. And it should work pretty good. And also guys, uh, just to let you know, if you're not familiar with the Power PC and 68K Mac challenge, it's still going on. They continued it uh, for another week. And I've been looking on my email on this. And I've actually been working in iMovie on this guy. And we're going to have a video. And basically it's just going to be about uh, all of our kitty cats. Uh, I've been working on it. Now, believe me, uh, going from the newest version of iMovie to iMovie 6... Boy, that's a lot of work. I forgot how to do this on a lot of this stuff, but I've been relearning it. So we're going to have that. And that'll, I think that'll be very nice to see all of our pets that we have. And in addition to all the other things, we've been listening to music on it while we've been doing this video on it. Uh, we've been checking our email. And it's been working pretty darn good. We're going to go to the internet browser here, 10.4fox, and we're going to bring up our Yahoo account here, and then we can check our email, and I have not done it for a couple days here, so I know there's a bunch of stuff in here. And there we go, there's our email. Got a lot of it here to look through here, so I have to get caught up on that. Yeah, guys, so like I said, that PowerPC challenge is going on, and as far as our modification on our Apple logo there. I think it's pretty good. It's a little more subtle. Uh, it doesn't bleed through it because we blacked it out. Like I said, I had a lot of viewer suggestions to do that, so I did that. And uh, actually, Jay from House of Moth, he uh, suggested that he thought that that would be a better choice. So I did that, but I think I will put a brighter LED behind there, and that'll make it glow a little bit more. Okay guys, so please like this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And we're also on MeWe and we are on Twitter. And you can reach out to me there. And also I'd like to update you guys on the uh, 
other video series I was going to be doing called the G4Q Chronicles. Uh, there's been a big delay in it. Um, actually, the person that I had lined up for it, um, I'm not sure, uh, but something happened to him. And Michael, if you're out there listening to me, uh, please, please reach out to me. I'm kind of concerned. Um, he's, we've always been conversing, and all of a sudden, everything stopped. So I hope everything is okay, buddy. And just reach out to me. You know how to do it. You can text me, call me. Uh, you can even leave a comment on my last video. So anyway, guys, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.